run when you are in hotel, which is kind of a container of lotions or soaps to your user open, the box size one or the miniature one. I'm Shu Tongli, the Chief Marketing Officer of Intercontinental Hotel Group. Thanks to you, Mr. Case and CFO, Mr. Pro, for coming today. Today, I will present our strategic communication plan and our solution to environmental issues. To align with the 2020 hotel industry trend of sustainable tourism, our group plans to remove more than 200 million miniature bathroom amenity containers, which is often plastic, from all our properties globally over the next two years as we shift to bulk size containers. As people become sensitive to environmental issues, sustainable tourism becomes a prior hotel industry trend in 2020. We have a deep commitment to responsible business, which is crucial to our reputation and growth. Our target audience is guests in luxury and upscale segments. They are a mix of business and leisure and usually international guests. Other influencing audiences are from mid-scale and economy segments. They are predominantly domestic guests. Observational learning theory emphasizes on social influence and imitation of the model's behavior. Our trend to bulk size amenities is to reduce plastic waste is a social action because it requires more social support. Here are su successful examples of observational learning campaign. Radisson Hotel Group released a video for its global commitment to plastic reduction. Motel 6 long-standing radio campaign with a featuring spokesperson has become a successful audio logo for its brand. Our group has done thoroughly in other responsible business programs, but when we move to this change, we find it difficult to make audience see the benefits. Audience always concerns germs issue on dispenser, especially, especially during the pandemic period. They also concern of losing free item benefits and if the dispenser is really filled with high quality products. So rather than just involve our audience, we need to make them believe that our staff can ensure the cleanness of bathroom dispensers. We just change the container but not the quality of the products, and the miniature amenities actually cost them more. Our approach is to educate the audience with sustainable awareness through community-based media and inform our commitment through information and communication technology, as well as update our plans through mass media. The positioning statement we can make to our audience is, accepting bulk dispensers rather than single-use products is the unique, eco-friendly method to reduce plastic waste without any negative impact on our guest experience quality. Audience travel cost will be lower because bulk dispenser is proved to cost less per ounce than single-use products. Besides, the effect of using bulk dispensers on improving environment is so significant that it can greatly raise our guest life quality. For channels, social media can disseminate messages to intended audience while also receiving real-time feedback from them. In our priority market, Instagram and Signal Weibo have large user bases. Publications are another way that is more critical and professional. For Channel 3, mass media and community-based media can reach information to our larger audience and are more cost-effective. Publishing content on our own website is more effective in increasing our audience awareness to our brand image, culture, and reputation. Here are detailed plans for each activity. For the first one, we want to have our internal staff behave as a travel blogger or blogger and post their experience to social media platforms. We will then check the number of subscriptions, likes, and comments every month to see how it works. For social media campaign maintenance, we intend to build relationships with our followers at the same time when we share content daily and periodically call to action. We would use Bitly every week for further improvement. In June this year, we plan to partner with ITP and launch a social media campaign on YouTube. In the value-driven advertising campaign, we want to show our value of true hospitality and sustainability and monitor how many people participate in this campaign. We will also submit articles to five feature magazines. We need to show how our change is leading the way of the whole industry, how credible it is, and how much it benefits our audience. We will mainly check the number of downloads every day after the article is posted. For the 5-day national radio campaign, we will first 
air two days for pre-recorded radio with our authoritarian announcer telling the details of our plan, and then an air another three days for live with radio to interview our common audience. We will use Google Analytics to evaluate the plan. Finally, we plan to create our own podcast series with creative producer teams. To deepen our audience awareness of our brand, culture, and especially responsible business, every two weeks we will launch one episode up to 12 episodes in total. We will monitor the plan every week. Above are our detailed plan for each activity. The cost for the first one and the two is zero and the 200,000 for activity three and four, 300,000 for activity five and 500,000 for activity six. The total budget we'd like to ask for is one million. In conclusion, as we are leading the prior change in hotel industry, it is essential for us to gain support from our audience through strategic communication. Given that not all audience accept box size dispensers yet, I drafted this communication plan with many details, specific approaches, and the implementation plan. This $1 million is a large amount of money, but I ensure that it is indeed worth it because it will change our audience attitude towards our change in a large scale. I'm Sam Washington-Lee, and here is my email address. For further information related to this plan, welcome to contact me. Thank you.